We wanted to get a really, really good group of companies. We wanted companies that were investor ready. Um, I think we wanted to showcase the diversity of the technology sector in the UK and Ireland, so to have a good range of medical technology companies, um, you know, internet companies, enterprise software businesses. Um, I think we've achieved that. I think we've got a very, very interesting group of companies. Um, uh, I think we also wanted to have a range of stages. So some companies that are already generating tens of millions of, uh, of euros of revenue, other companies that have very, very interesting novel technologies that are potentially the breakthrough companies of the future. And again, I, I think we've got some pretty interesting companies in both of those categories. Obviously, over the past number of years, there's been a huge emphasis on um, business to consumer internet propositions, and I think that's fading a little now. And you know, B2B and enterprise is very, very much uh, back. I, I think there's a realization that finding a, a successful user acquisition model in B2C can be very, very difficult indeed. Whereas in, uh, in B2B, if you've got a really, really strong value proposition uh, for, for your customers, then it's actually easier to build a customer base. And so I think investors are turning back towards enterprise software and enterprise propositions. Um, I think obviously a huge trend has been the accessibility of entrepreneurship. You know, the fact that you can build a product incredibly cost effectively, you can deploy a product very, very cost effectively. Uh, of course, there's also been a huge uh, increase and in improvement in the accessibility of entrepreneurship. Um, you know, cloud uh, services, the availability of new high productivity development approaches, and that's led to a huge kind of flowering of entrepreneurship both in Ireland and the UK so we're seeing an enormous numbers of kind of very small young companies who can get up and running quickly and you know many of those will be the stars of the future and I think that's that's fantastic to see um, in in my days you you spent five million euros just to build your first product and and then prayed that you would get a customer and uh, you know that's really changed and and that's fantastic you know